Hi, welcome back, Mad Cap Toys fans. My name is Kathy, and today we are going to talk about not only what sold, but also just share with you a little bit of things that have been happening to us in the last 24 hours. But before we begin, if you like the video, stay till the end. Comments, we love them so much. Thank you so much for your input on your weekly sales results and what you're doing to stay on top of things. And uh, hit the bell for all notifications because each and every time we upload content, you're going to be the first to know. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the Mad Cat Toys family. What are you doing? We want you to be a part of us. So uh, I thought I'd film this on a Saturday evening, I think, roughly. It's about almost six seven at night here eastern time so uh, i wanted to get this done because jen and i are going to be hunting for a new christmas tree tomorrow a fake course christmas tree not a real one um and we're going to a couple local places just to see if we can find the one we both love um something happened over the over the start of friday i thought i was doing the right thing and i saw a place online that um the real place is legitimate uh, but they had a a um, another website that I thought was connected with that website that was an outlet sale when it comes to Christmas trees. So it was like, you know, they were saying pitching, you know, anniversary sale, 78, 90% off, blah, blah, blah. And I thought, well, that's great. That's really nice quality trees. I know a lot about this particular company. So the fact that they're connecting with that. So uh, long story short, I ordered a Christmas tree. Went through fine, silence, everything was good. They said they were packing it, um, getting it ready to go for inspection. Life was good. Three days later, on a Friday morning, I noticed two uh, transactions taken out of my account to the tune of almost $1,000. Yeah. And uh, one was uh, to uh, Best Buy, and another one was just a, a bank transaction. And I know it wasn't Darren or I because uh, we were sitting at home all day uh, working, uh, doing what we do, reselling and stuff, and, and I do my day job. So, uh, yeah, freaked out, panicked, called um, when I once I got a notification from my bank, called them, and uh, said uh, we didn't make those transactions. So, all in all, um, they've got an investigation going. I've got one half of the part of the money back so far but still waiting probably up to two weeks on the other half hopefully i'll get all of it back but yeah um when it's too good to be true sometimes it is they're posting things it's, it's a foreign company is posting things all over social media making it look like it's that legitimate company and i contacted the le legitimate company to let them know that's been happening and of course scores of people have also been uh, scammed currently and dealing with that as well. So, um, yeah, when it's too big, good to be true, it is number two. Uh, if you're looking for a Christmas tree, unless it's directly from uh, a major company that you know that's local, like Lowe's or Menards or something like that or whatever, uh, yeah, go go <laughs> go get it and get it from your local area or not, um, you know, or get it from a website that. Um, that, you know, is connected to something local like Lowe's, Menards, etc. Um, that way you don't get scammed. So getting that, I learned a big lesson and um, not to repeat that one. Uh, but uh, all in all, I'm blessed that we were able to catch it in time. Uh, we've got new um, where everything is turning out. It's a, it's a good ending it that way and moving forward from there. So uh, but again, that was something. I'm also too. Um, Besides that, just trying to catch up on sleep and things. I've uh, been a great weekend, been a hardworking weekend. We've been continuing to list. We've been continuing to do other things like um, do those resets every few days if we can. And um, just waiting. eBay has kind of slowed down quite a bit uh, over the last, I'd say, four days. We had a pickup on Friday, but um, it is destitute where we aren't even hitting over what we were doing last week after the first reset so it is um it's pretty tragic and i'm hoping they get their paws monkey paws off the site so we can uh continue on with fourth quarter and having it improved for the next two months because it's vital for us because our niche is toys as you guys know mostly and this is a time where we sell the most toys and things like like that so and items so this is we're hoping that they just make changes to that all right, so we had sales on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, a total of 10 items that are going out in the AM on Monday. So we are going to go through that real quick with you. And Darren right now is inside uh, cooking supper and getting things and, uh, you know, keeping little claws company. So um, I am going to be 
the one going through this with you today. So for first up, we have the, and it's a bag here from the Odds and End Toad. It's the 19-piece lot of plastic army men, dinosaurs, Indians, and caveman. And it's going out to Lake Town. Hi, Lake Town. For $5 plus shipping to boot. Thank you so much, Lake Town. And going out to you on Monday. So it's just different little figures. It looks like it's got uh, dinosaurs, of course. Indians, caveman. I see like a uh, look like a, a lion right here. So that would kind of fell in there. But uh, it, some of the um, army men and things that Darren got a huge lot at one time and kind of dividing them up. So these are really great and uh, perfect for those plastic army men collections. All right, and then skipping on over, we did have a couple last night on Poshmark, which I thought was awesome. I did a little bit of sharing and uh, following, and I also gave out about 314 offers, and these two had popped up last night, so I was very thrilled about that. Of course, this they both came from our uh, clothing palette count that we, got, that we got this year. We got a couple of palettes of clothing. This one is the Women's Ascot and Heart Checkered Graphic Wide Leg Pants Size 1X. It's going out to Kelly. Hi, Kelly. For $29. So I got exactly uh, a little bit more than what it said on the tag. And so I only paid about $2, between $2.50 and $4 for these pair of pants. So getting $29 for these pair of pants is astronomical. Um, I have... I think roughly about three pairs of these left and I'll be sold out already. So I'm glad I got those on and list, listed those this month because they're going like hotcakes. And this pair of pajamas, I actually found this in our uh, eBay death pile, uh, kind of hidden. And I remember earlier this year, I sold out on a bunch of these. I had like three, I think, and I sold out of them and I found another one. I was like, great, let me, let me get this put back on. And as soon as I did within 48 hours, it sold. So I was really happy. This is the toddler boys, four piece shark, long sleeve, snug fit pajama set size five T it is going out to spring tastic high spring tastic for $11. Beautiful. Um, you know, two sets of pajamas. Well, one's short sleeve, one's long sleeve, two pairs of pants. Again, when my kids were growing up, um, you, if you saw something like this just hanging in the store, uh, you know, whether it be the brand stores, or whatever, you're paying about $19 or something just for this. So to pay $11 plus shipping and a discount and shipping at that, not too bad. Thank you so much. All right, now we're going to head on to eBay. I'm going to start from the bottom to the top. Another clothing palette item. And I got a few of these left. So hopefully they'll be able to enjoy it because after starting Monday, we only have two days till Halloween. So hopefully they'll be able to enjoy it and somebody will be able to use it for next year. But this is the Disney Kids Family Sleep Cozy Pajama Set Nightmare Before Christmas size 8. They can even actually wear it for Christmas too, probably. Uh, going out to Valerie. Hi, Valerie. For $14.95. Really nice, like a fleece. So when it gets cold outside, those pajamas will be very, very comfy to wear in the in the nighttime. So very good. And then in our uh, makeup category or health and beauty, we have the Ditto Walking in the Jungle 15 Pan Color Palette with Mirror and Two Makeup Brushes. I have one of these left and I'll be out of stock. Going out to Debbie. Hi, Debbie, for $5.59. Was discounted. I'm trying to move, so I think I probably offered maybe 15 to 20%. Um, at the time when I got it, I, I only paid maybe roughly about two bucks for it. So still making good profit. Going out to you in the AM. Thank you so much, Debbie. Appreciate it. Okay, and going from here. And our Barbie, we did a uh, retail arbitrage many, many years ago uh, where we had bought a bunch of Barbies that the store was closing down. And so we got a whole caseload of Barbies, different types, um, and then and then got them a real, like I said, real inexpensive, probably like a dollar to two dollars a piece. So we, we grabbed them. And this was one of them. It's the Mattel Barbie African American Glitz doll with purse. And it's going out to Suzanne. Hey, Suzanne, 
for $13.59. If you are interested, we have four more of this particular doll left. We also have one in a blue dress and a pink dress as well. Check them out. And I really like this one here. Uh, this is uh, actually from the original release of Monster High back in 2012. And that's when I got this at that time. So it's not a doll per se, but it is a add-on pack to a doll. So it's like a clothing accessory. This is the Monster High Inner Monster Spooky Sweet add-on pack. And again, it's going out to a repeat buyer. Hey, Suzanne, again. Um... And it's sold, and I have one of these left if you're wanting to know about if we have any more spooky sweet. And it's sold for $14.39. So that'll be packed up and going out on Monday. Thank you so much, Suzanne. And I always say that it normally always happens. We always have some kind of currency or something that usually is on each and every video. On this one, this one's a very beautiful coin. This is an, a Mercury dime that is, to me, pretty much about as, almost as pristine as you can get. Um, beautiful, shiny, um, har hardly anywhere. I would call it a Mint State 65, but someone may tell me different. This is a 1940S, 90% silver Mercury dime gem BU. Came from Coin Album 3, going out to John. Hi, John. For $34.78, I believe. Uh, John got a like a 5% discount and uh, it's going to home to him in the AM. Thank you so much. <laughs> and I got a slew of these in a pallet. And if you, if you get pallets too, you probably got some too. This is from the Target pallet on the pet side. This is, it's cute. It's a little like magenta pink. Um, it is the Boots and Barkley Pink Reflective Comfort Dog Leash. I have 16 more of these available, and it's going out to Lori. Hi, Lori, for $7.50. Notice it looks like someone had it uh, hung up on a shelf or like, or on a, a hook for like five bucks, but we sold it for $7.50. Again, I probably paid maybe a buck or two for it, and uh, it's really, really nice. Got a clip in class, cl cl let's try to say that five times clip in clasp closure for secure fastening to their collar so really nice and very durable i think uh boots and barkley is a pretty decent pet supply company so i haven't had any issues with that when i sell the, this to folks of uh, the different supplies that we have for pets on there all right and this is i'm a fan of this i when i saw this so then we needed to get it it was it's really really adorable Especially in time for Christmas. So cute. This is from the Little Tykes. It says, hold both my hands. So let me put my phone down. See if I can have her talk here. Maybe. We'll try. We're only trying, right? Let's see. Are we working on it? It was working a little bit ago. Here we go. So cute. Adorable. So this is from the Little Tykes. Lily Tykes. Sing along Lily. So cute. As you can see. Um, and it is going out to Christy. Hey, Christy. It came from our river shelf for $27.99. Really, really nice. And very, very cute and lovely. I can't wait uh, for this. Whoever this is for. When they get it, they're going to be so happy to get it. It's, it's such an adorable doll. Love it. All right, so that is basically all of our 10 items on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And yeah, that's basically it. So that's basically all we have here, guys. Um, again, uh, I'll probably be doing some packing tonight. Pack this for the AM on Monday, and then Sunday I'm going to probably be have a little lazy day after I hunt for a, a new Christmas tree. Uh, May list a little bit, but it just seems like that the last four days it's just kind of been a battle to get what we usually get on average on eBay in itself. Again, you hear these gripes all the time from many people. Uh, we're doing what we can do to stay afloat, just to keep the visibility. But one thing I will tell you is we are not going to do that promoted advance um, eBay because, again, it's like taking your money into a gamble for someone to look at your site. 
that should already be able to, to see it. And this is kind of the scenario Darren and I had talked about the other day um, when it comes to that really quick. You have a flea, a flea market booth, right? You walk into a flea market. You have a flea market booth. You have, you know, the walls there, the area that you could put all of your items on, hang them up, have them on display. And the flea market vendor says for $150 a month, you can have this this type of square fill it as up as much as you like price it however you want when people come through if they want to buy it they they grab it by it etc so they the visibility is there for those people that walk in to see your stuff now what if the flea market vendor did what ebay is doing what if they grabbed a, a, a you know like three or four random cloths and started putting the cloth over certain sections of your booth right to cover it up where when people walk by, they don't know really why there's a cloth over it. And they're just kind of walking by, you know. And they're not able to see visibly all of the items that you have out. And then you go up to that flea market uh, vendor guy and say, Hey, I'm paying $150 a month for this section here, right? Uh, why are you putting certain cloths and things on some of my items where people can't see them? And they'll say, oh, oh, I, I didn't tell you. So for uh, a price or for not maybe a fee, but for so much money that you can throw in, if you want your customers to see all of it when they walk by, you need to pay us more money and we'll start taking a cloth here down, a cloth there down, so they can start seeing the visibility. See how terrible that sounds? Um, you know, any one of us, if that happened to us in a, in a flea market front like that, we would be saying, now listen, wait a minute, we didn't sign up for that. When we started, this was a $150 flea market booth where everybody could see all of my items in that little section that they can go and buy it when they come in. Now you're trying to hide my stuff. This is the same concept that eBay is doing. They want more money. So the promoted advance they're wanting for a gamble for you to put more money in besides your store fee, besides your, you know, having them take their final value fees, besides doing promoted listings for a percentage, right? They're wanting you to basically shake a dice, gamble, put some money up there and have someone just click, 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 click on the item, drain your, drain the money that you put in and the probability of you selling uh, those specific items that you're boosting is next to nil. That is ridiculous, right? So if you look at the flea market scenario, it sounds absolutely mind-boggling crazy. It's the same thing that eBay's trying to do with us, only it's an online. And I, we don't think it's fair. Um, we think eventually it will have to cave because so many people are saying, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to gamble money and just sink money into a, a sinking ship or into a hole. And so eBay, if you're listening, it speaks volumes to us that... You're just trying to sink more money into something and we're not getting anything out of it or any profit out of it. If you have a different feeling about this, please let us know in the comments below. If you agree with us, let us know as well. But if you can just kind of put it in that scenario, in the flea market scenario, you kind of think about it for a second and go, you know what? That is, that's, that's annoying and aggravating and makes me angry, right? <laughs> and uh, yeah, so think about it that way. And that's basically what's happening to us as resellers. Not fair. Again, we've always said in videos, I wish it went back in the late 90s to where you could put on, everybody put on their own things as long as it was legal and acceptable and whatever it was. And if someone saw it and bought it, they did. Nobody's putting blankets on top of our items and we could sell whatever we want in that respect, however we want and go from there. That's what we want to do is we want to go back to the basics, back to where we were back in those days. Um, quit working on the sites, trying to make enhancements that don't help us resellers one bit. Um, get it to where it worked for us. And that is my rant for today. Guys, you guys have been fantastic. I don't have anything else to say, but I hope you're doing fantastic in your reselling world. And until next time, bye-bye.